The signals we use. 12 signal systems of human communication. All human communication occurs through the use of 12 signal systems. Usage of the signal systems is a function of culture, thus they are used differently in different cultures. The 12 signal systems suggested here give a useful way to perceive and analyze messages, even those involving other cultures where signals are used differently from those in your own culture. As an analytical tool, the 12 systems constitute a very useful way to begin learning another culture, by focusing on the ways of communication in that culture. 12 Signal Systems of Human Communication 1. Verbal, Speech 2. Written, Symbols Representing Speech 3. Numeric, Numbers and Number Systems 4. Pictorial, Two-Dimensional Representations 5. Artifactual, Three-Dimensional Representations and Objects, The Things Used in Living 6. Audio use of nonverbal sounds, and silence. 7. Kinesic, body motions, facial expressions, posture. 8. Optical, light and color. 9. Tactile, touch, the sense of feel. 10. Spatial, utilization of space. 11. Temporal, utilization of time. 12. Olfactory, taste and smell. 1. Verbal, speech. The most commonly recognized signal system is speech. Humans speak some 5,000 languages around the world, besides dialectical modifications of each one. Too often, speaking remains the conscious limit of formal communication. 2. Written, Symbols Representing Speech by expressing speech in written signals, humans can share information without the restrictions of time and space. Some written signals represent the sound of words, whilst others represent the meaning of those words. 3. Numeric, Numbers and Number Systems Besides representing counts and amounts, some numbers can signal danger, perfection, or some other cultural meaning. Mathematics expresses relationships, quantities, or qualities through numbers, more precisely than speech. 4. Pictorial, Two-Dimensional Representations Style and choice of art or photos, whether realistic or abstract representations, express a philosophy, arouse an emotional response, and carry a specific message to those who know the symbolism of the originating culture. 5. Artifactual, three-dimensional representations and objects, the things used in living. Clothing and jewelry, furnishings and art, vehicles, equipment and tools, architecture and landscaping, prove an accurate way to understand an individual's or a group's preferences and priorities, as much as one's wealth and social status.
6. Audio, use of nonverbal sounds, and silence. Music, whistles, bells, sirens, beeps, screams can vary in their meaning and purpose across different cultures. Audio overlaps with speech in singing, tone, and intonation of voice. Silence, too, can prove a powerful signal. 7. Kinesic, body motions, facial expressions, posture. Kinesics, body motion, speaks loudly even when no words are spoken. Kinesics often express emotions unconsciously, and conscious usage can vary between culture groups. Sign language permits communication with the hearing impaired. 8. Optical, light and color. Color, light, and darkness communicate information with different meanings attached in different cultures. The psychological effect of color is quite apparently not universal. 9. Tactile, touch, the sense of feel. Cultures differ widely in their use of touching, holding, caressing, slapping, and striking between persons, in private or in public. Every tactile act can be judged as expected or immoral, fitting, or inappropriate, a greeting or a threat. 10. Spatial, utilization of space. Every individual must learn to respect others' personal space. Those with higher status deserve more working space. An economic achievement may obtain more living space. One may believe or discount a message by a messenger's distance. 11. Temporal, utilization of time. Societies have their own ways of measuring time throughout a day or a year. Punctuality can be valued or be disdained. Powerful individuals have more freedom in their respect for appointments. A society may have more respect for its past, present, or future. 12. Olfactory taste and smell men and women may apply different perfumes tolerance of disagreeable odors can differ between cultures choice of food served to guests can signal respect of status in many religious ceremonies specific fragrances are used to symbolize suffering joy or thankfulness For an understanding of use of these basic symbol systems, one must grasp three key principles. One use two or more of these systems at the same time. Doing so strengthens the credibility of a message, and enhances recall. Two. It is possible for one system to contradict the other systems. This happens often in cross-cultural communication. 3. Within all the systems there are two levels of information, the rational and the emotional. We tend to believe the less consciously used system. The Lord's Supper communicates powerfully by employing several signal systems. Verbal, Invitation and Instruction Written, Holy Scripture Numeric, Plurality of Communicants Pictorial, Sacred Art or Symbols Audio, Sacred Music, Song, or Silence Artifactual, Plates, Cups, and Furnishing 
kinesic, serving and partaking. Optical, sacred art and costumes. Tactile, holy kiss or greeting. Spatial, proximity of priest and communicants. Temporal, holy days or time given. Olfactory, smell and taste of bread and cup. 